Hello and welcome to another Game Nexus Arcade video. Today we're going to be taking a look at an arcade that's actually right by me in a movie theater. First is Suzuka 8 Hours, which is a motorcycle game released on the Namco System 2 derivative hardware in 1992. Followed by the System 246 Time Crisis 3. This is a pretty nice looking cabinet with two CRT monitors. There's also a big rejection screen one, of course, which is a little bit nicer. Then, of course, uh... Right after this, I'm going to probably look at the uh, cabin a little bit more. We have the Fast and the Furious Supercars, which was released in 2010 by Raw Thrills on PC-based arcade hardware. It actually ran on little Dell computers that were actually linked together with the fancy controls and everything. Followed by Transformers Human Alliance, which was actually released just in 2014 on the Ring Edge 2 arcade hardware, which is actually the same hardware that runs Dead or Alive 2, uh, I mean, Dead or Alive 5 Ultimate arcade version, which is pretty cool. It's cool to see such a new arcade game in my area. Followed by Big Buck Safari, which is another Raw Thrills game that runs on little Dell computers. And this game was actually released in 2008 on those uh, fancy little Dell computers with big rifles. Then we have Dance Dance Revolution Supernova, released in 2006 on the Konami Python 2 arcade hardware, which is a PS2 with a daughter board, followed by Terminator Salvation, which is another uh, Raw Thrills system, 2010, running on little, little Dell computers. Of course, there's this little basketball game here. There's a air hockey and some sort of redemption thing over here. Nothing too exciting. But then, of course, another new addition to the arcade is this uh, this Batman uh, driving arcade cabinet, which was released in 2013, and it's it's another uh, Raw Thrills arcade game running on the little Dell computers with all this uh, fancy lights and everything. Really a uh, fancy looking game there. Then, of course, there is Guitar Hero Arcade, which, before looking at this, I didn't know it also is a Raw Thrills arcade game released in 2009 on their uh, fancy Dell computers. And, of course, the other game here was a Miss Pac Man Galga, and then there was a basketball game in the front. Well, that's my uh, my local little arcade here. It's. It's just a little thing that's like kind of an addition to the movie theater, so it's not really a uh, huge thing. But it's a, it's a nice little arcade, and uh, just to add a little bit here, I know I've run out of footage at this point, but where the, uh, where the big uh, Transformers cabinet is now, sadly there used to be a really cool House of the Dead 1 um, uh, CRT screen cabinet, you know, not the one with the, the big projection screen, but at the CRT screen, but that just randomly disappeared and became um, the uh, House of the, I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, it, it became the um, Transformers uh, Human Alliance, and it's been that, like, for maybe a month now, and where the uh, Batman was, for a short while, there was actually a deluxe uh, f a four-player cabinet uh, Gauntlet Legends, which was actually pretty cool. Another side thing is, it was like one or two times that I was there. Sadly, it just seemed to just disappear really quick. But there was a um, Tekken Tag Tournament right by the uh, House of the Dead when it was there. So, there have been a couple little changes here. But all in all, it was pretty much the House of the Dead. And the uh, and actually, there was really nothing where uh, Batman was. So, that's how it was for a good while. Then that Gauntlet Legends showed up for a little t bit. Then we lost our House of the Dead and got Human Alliance. And, uh, yeah, that's my little arcade that uh, is by the movie theater where I live. Uh, this has been another Game Nexus arcade tour video, and I shall see you later. Bye.